Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, I'm still doing my Bible study. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mark 10:45. So, yeah, it's going there. <laughs> but anyway, all right, there's my Bible study and this week has been just, um, I don't know, ups and downs. Uh, roommate is working four tens to eight. I kind of like having the house to myself on Saturdays. Yeah, six days a week. Um, a little different, but I get a lot done. So, um, I know y'all saw the video of the footstool. That was actually done on Saturday. And then, um, I did these so i was online and i wanted something simple to make that i could give away at christmas so um i found a little tea cozy and kind of used their measurements theirs only had four pockets and i wanted six because we work you know eight hours a day so you know six would give us a good variety when i got done with their measurements and adding in the new pocket this top to me just looked short and out of proportion so i adjusted a little bit and as you can see just adjust by like an inch on the measurements and i think it came out too tall now these i'm still going to use uh, it is what it is one two three pockets on each side that's six but this is very tall um, and all I did was change it by an inch so the next one I made I made um, one oops two three pockets and it looks about right up at the top so um, and as you can see the closures are different widths uh, I don't this thinner one I just used a scrap and so uh, I didn't want to waste and so I had these scraps these I actually measured out and used and I think I like the thicker one the fatter one better I don't know but either way I have all the measurements um, this is the final size that I came up with as you can tell I used the watermelon and the green one these are the materials that I got from the so what box and so I can safely say I can make three out of one pack so then I went to making I always say these are prototypes but they're usable and I will use them and I'll give them away so this is what she ended up looking like one two three reasonable amount up here um and then a nice wide snap so uh what i like about these is now that i have all the measurements down i can embroider the front or the back or you know whatever i want to do if i want to put tea time across any of them i can do that um so i have quite a few ideas these four of course are usable and not going to be um what do you call it uh, embroidered so they'll go to someone and I'm just looking for gift ideas for the bank simple small um, I'm kind of pulling back from them but I still want to do Christmas it's you know just part of me and um, I'm sure y'all have picked up that I'm not real happy at work uh, people are just kind of mean and rude and so yeah it's it is what it is I'm to a point to realizing that at my age, the job is just a means to an end. Um, I'm getting my bills paid off and I'm going to get some money put back. And I know the one thing that I want to do um, in the next couple of years that I'm going to start saving for. And I'm just, uh, I'm going to go on a cruise. Okay. I'm going to save for me and if no one else comes with me then 
I'm just going on my own. There are some cruises that go up the Mississippi River. Um, there's some other ones, okay. Uh, there's a an American-made company, American. Their boats are American-made. All staff is American. Um, they just, it's not like a Disney cruise where they've got people from all over the world that come and do these. It is 100% American. And the ports of call have history and guided tours of the town. And, and you can do Louisiana, Baton Rouge. You can do the lower Mississippi, the upper Mississippi. You can take the whole thing. Um, so I've been looking at that. And the boats are smaller. They're not like huge cruise line. They're more my speed. Um, one's a paddle boat. So I could take the paddle boat cruise. <laughs> That's about my speed. Anyway, I like the idea of going on a cruise. I don't like the idea of the big crowds in the Disney world. And the big, ugh. So, um, yeah, I started making arrangements to start saving for that. And, uh, I just got two more bills to pay off and I'm good to go. So, yep. And I should have them all paid off within the next year. Um, I believe my goal was July of 2025. And yeah, I should have it, actually have it done earlier than that. And we'll see how much saving I get done while I'm doing that. Because that's the thing. So I'm trying to save while paying everything off. So we will see. Uh, my goal is to not just have my bills paid off, but also not to run bills back up doing the cruise. So. Anyway, so I did some crocheting too. Enough about that. Uh, made the B. I'm not sure that I like the white. I think these would look cuter as yellow or black or I don't know. Just have to put on his two googly eyes. That's all that's left to do on him. I started the cow. Um, he has black ears and a black snout. And I found that the older I get at night, my eyes just cannot do the dark colors. Okay. The black in this was done, um, during the day. So I say day, it, it was evening before the sun went down. <laughs> so yeah, the den gets really dark. So I don't know. All right. Then I did those. And then I also brought in so I update you. I've been working on the sweater. Um, so here it is and the sleeves are not even I have like, like two more rows and now I've lost count so I have to go back and count but I think two rows is what I have to get them even um I'm gonna go down and I'll do a ribbed cuff on this and then those will be done and that's I'm trying to get rid of the third you know, yarn and I still have quite a bit of yarn to go. So I am nowhere near finished. Uh, and it's not long enough. I, I kind of want it longer. Um, it actually is long enough if I wanted to see comes down past my waist. So, but I think I want it longer. I want it like a three quarter length longer so um anyway and then um after i get the sleeves done they're gonna come down have a little bit of cuff then it's gonna come down at least mid thigh on me and then i'm gonna do a trim i guess a row or two to go up and around the neck and just kind of make it give it that finish look so um yeah I'm working on it and it is making progress. The problem is, is the other day it was almost 90 degrees and it was too hot to sit with that on my lap and eh, it was horrible. So anyway, the weather is playing a part in it, um, but it is what it is. Uh, the other thing is, is that I did make a little video on making my footstool. There are two things that I need to state about that footstool. First off, I'm going to replace the elastic with that's at the bottom, something a little bit heavier. 
and I'm going to do one of the pull um, drawstring type things. When you make it big enough to go around the crate, it doesn't really suck up underneath as well as I want it to. So um, I will be changing that. Uh, the other thing is, is that I have had to add a little bit of poof. When you put your feet up on it, it's kind of because it's polyfill, it poofs down. I've smashed it down in the line of a leg in the center, okay? And so I've had to go in there and kind of make that thicker so that the edges and that stay tough. But I may put a zipper in so I can just, if I ever get a pillow fill, I'll put that in there. Our pillow form. Sorry about that. The polyfill is in there now, but so I've just been adjusting the amount of polyfill so that my feet are comfortable. Just saying, and it really works well. So it's the right height. Uh, a warm gut mag because I stashed his blanket up on top of it. It's not all that tall. It's a crate. He just got mad because I put it up there. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm gonna get off here and I've got to get ready to go to work. And I will. <sighs> really want to go back to bed. No, um, I will talk to y'all later. Um, have a great week and thanks for watching. Bye.